percussion here. Stick it out the window. Stick it out the window. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. Uh, kind of on the Well, lead. you got a building in your way, too. Kind of so on the lee side. Yeah, there, actually, so. historically, the wind comes in from... from actually, south. comes from the south, the southwest most part, but it can be variable. Yeah. Okay. A lot of thermal activity coming oh, up. Oh, this is this is crazy. This is, I mean, you know, I noticed too. You know, is but anyway, you just I, you know, you the know. wind will come from one direction, then it'll stop, and it'll come from a totally different direction. There you go. That's and it's thing. mostly just you know thermals and uh -huh, stuff. Ah, it is. And and if you really want to get Oklahoma style yeah. stuff, yeah, <laughs> this is the most accurate. Okay, so that kind of tells me the wind's coming in from the south, west, southwest, somewhere in that area, that direction. Okay. This works pretty slick, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, or else, I remember I used to take a piece of uh, toilet paper and release it. And, yeah. Uh, and, and, I mean, it's still, you know, but your because variable winds up here will drive you crazy because of the fact that we get lightning strikes. Yeah, you know, we wanted to ask you, too, is uh, uh, the, the trees around here are only so big. Uh -huh. Do they just get so big and then the soil it just topple they over? fall over? I know there's been some burn, but... What takes place is... Or is it a dry climate that oh, don't survive? I don't think historically these trees. I'm from. I used to live in Oregon. Oregon, we got some giant trees. Yeah, yeah. Ponderosa pine. Okay. Uh, I will say, at least in this area, they're, they're they're huge, but they're not like up in the northwest. My own Packard, yeah. yeah, where they get gigantic bases. Mm -hmm. well, I went I went to forestry school in Coos Bay. Oh, did you? Yeah, and I've seen some fire fire tires out there are 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 living. In. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. at least back in the eighties. This is 80s. this is, yeah. And the thing about Oregon now is what they're doing. Um, a lot of them they're they're shutting down. They're decommissioning them. You can, I'm sorry, you can rent them. Oh, is you that can right? rent them. Yes, well, uh, up in Oregon and Montana, and you can rent these. And some of them are you know like twenty feet off the ground or thirty feet, but they're like in a big apartment. Yeah. And his, histor historically, um, let me rephrase it. This here is a seven by seven, okay? And usually the cabs are like a 14 by 14 or 10 by 10 or 12 by 12, where actually they have a walkway. Oh yeah. And so I, there's a, I stay in a bunkhouse down here. It's like a small apartment. But a lot of them, like Kendrick up there, he has a couple beds and stove and everything. and. Uh, but this but is, for an eight-hour shift, you don't, you don't need much. Now this is this is this is this is okay. Um, like you see, the bunkhouse is down below, and so when I want to, you know, go down, I go down. So, but uh, yeah, a lot of them are, a lot of them are pretty nice. Um, up in Oregon, um, up in Oregon, they're pretty. Well, let me ask you, we're we're camped down just a tenth of a mile off of the road. Coming okay. in, there's one campsite sitting there. Okay. So I got my RV pulled in there. I've been okay. there for two days, two and a half okay. days. Um, can we? I haven't seen any signs that says no fires. No, they, they lifted the restriction. Okay. Yeah. It would say so somewhere because I know it's high fire danger. Yeah. You know, use water. Uh huh. They lifted the restriction because we got some. We got the monsoons here. Mm -hmm. Remember mm -hmm. that when you mm -hmm. saw the water? I pretty yeah. early too. Yeah, and it it would it, it kind of saturated the ground. Um. And so we still got some, we got some cloud build up over here, so we'll probably get some rain. Okay, so yesterday, a uh, little story, um, I, I just walked from my camper away from the road and just taking a walk with my dog. You know? uh -huh. My dog kind of tensed up a little bit and uh -huh. I'm like, eh. I saw what I think are cougar tracks. Uh -huh. You have cougar up here because uh -huh. it's great big, uh -huh. you know, claws. Right. Yeah. So anyway, um, she kind of tensed up and I was a little leery, you know, uh -huh. and so I tried to keep her near me, but she ended up flushing out what I thought was a giant jackrabbit. But I'm like, well, wait a minute. It doesn't have any ears, and it's not <laughs> running fast enough. So she gained on it and knocked it down, and it cried, and she let it up. And it looked to me like a baby deer, but it had a real stub neck on it. So I think it was a baby elk. Possible. And, possible. and you know what? Right around that area, I saw hoof prints. Okay. And it rained the night before, right. and the hoof prints were not rained or washed, and there was oh, okay. there was rutting, yeah. you know. So I'm thinking maybe the animal gave birth that morning. Could that be? Um, or is there? Or is this just early spring when they? Uh, let's see. Usually, there I think their camps are bomb. Um, ah, good question. Oh, like, it could be. A, it could be like a, we have what we call um, like a bobcat. 
small buck. This was definitely a deer. Oh, it, this but, was, it, but oh. it didn't have a long neck. It had oh, a really okay. short probably, neck. So it's probably just a, uh, an elk. It could be an elk or it could be a real young fawn. But, so but they have longer necks though, and I know what a fawn looks like. But I mean, okay, this was had, long its neck? head was short, way down. Okay. It was really uh, weird. And I think I saw spots too. It was spots. Oh, it was probably, maybe it could be. Um, you know, it had, it had a body that was pretty yep. much uniform, yeah, probably long just, legs, uh, and it had a squat neck on it. And little probably a young fawn, maybe? Just, uh, just recently born, perhaps? And it, and it went just, you know, about 10 yards and tripped over itself. And, Ah, and got back up and you know, I got shots off of them and it, okay. it, it ran off. So I come up, I come, well, yeah, I come up and uh, I see a fair amount of deer, fair amount of elk, and some of them there's some yearlings or young younger ones than that. And there's, I, I could be, it really could. So yeah, because um, it looked like what the animal was. The thing about the lightning strikes is due to monsoons. You can bank on it within next day or two days you're going to have smoke generated from it because it usually hit a snag and then it just kind of smolders. Smolders for a long time, yeah. Then it'll pop up uh, and yeah. And you know that that lightning doesn't just always stop at the top. It'll bore down into the right. ground. and Yeah, this is a uh, actually what it will do. Um, I can actually see, I've actually seen where with arc. What, as you see, an uh, orange arc as it comes down, it grills the ground. So it's just. And that's a. Was there porcelain? Yeah, this tips is, on there. Th these are these are lightning. the old um, porcelain sure. oscillators for the towers. Yeah, yeah. You know, for the power power bowl, Yeah. So this here is. <laughs> It'll keep you insulated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right on. So, All right. Good time up here. Yeah. It's, uh, and we're just driving down through Williams, checking it out. It's my little town. This isn't too bad, 387. Yeah, I thought so it'd be a lot worse. Under four bucks. It was four dollars the first turnout you come to. That's four dollars. So you got that old railway over there? Yeah, this is the railway that goes into the Grand Canyon. I think it's called the Grand Canyon Railway. Is that right? Oh, right there. And uh, I don't think they do it anymore, but they used to have the steamer. They still, uh, I think they still rob the coach and stuff like that. This is Saginaw and Manistee Lumber Company. This old looking locomotive. Grand Canyon Railway.
Cool. Right, we went into town yesterday to find a, a barbecue grate for the fire pit. So we wanted to cook some steaks over the flame. So what we did was made a little kind of channel here so we could put the steaks on there and you know shovels. Once we got some good coals going, Steve brought some oak and some cherry wood, some charcoal. We'll put a mix under there. You know, so you just shovel it from the fire, stick it under there throw some steaks on it and it'll work pretty good and you don't have to lean over the fire to to get to it then I was up this morning just walking around and came across some bones here they were just laying around kind of odd looking not sure what, not sure what they could be but I'm hoping they're not human or anything. <laughs> There's plenty of elk around here. And here's another peculiar looking one. I mean, this one almost looks like a this one almost looks like a knee joint. Right? Or a upper femur or something, or some kind of animal. strange actually not strange there's they die out here and there's plenty of stuff that'll eat them there's another little piece we went hiking around because we figured a main carcass isn't too far away and there's another one just a, who knows it's probably just elk you know or Jimmy Hoffa Okay, Bailey, let's go. Okay, Bailey, let's go in and, and put the movie on the computer. And we'll show everybody how you got up the steps now, because you were afraid of these. Okay, let's, let's go in. And you stay, and we'll show everybody. You stay. Wait. You stay. Okay, okay, come on. Oh, that's a big girl. That's a good girl. He is your big girl now. <laughs> and Steve found some more bones over here, so we'll go get some firewood and take a look at those. Give Shotzi a walk. She runs next. Come on, Shotzi. Good girl, be careful. Steve found this. Looks like a eye socket. Skull. It's an elk. He found the found the rib cage too. There's no meat left on those bones, Shotzi. Yep. What is that, Bailey? Why the ridge though? See the ridge on it? I wonder if that could be a pig. Right, found some firewood. There's Shotzi. There, walk. No my Shotzi. There's Bailey being a good girl. Okay, we're 